Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon tiger cub. So let's start with the eyes. With the one on the left, we're going to draw these big ovals. So starting at the top, come around to the side, to the bottom, and then back up to the top again. Let's draw the exact same shape over on the right side. We'll leave a little gap in the middle. So we'll start at the top at the same height, and draw that oval. Going down to the bottom, and then back up to the top again. Now let's draw the pupils. So we're going to have big, huge black pupils sort of aimed sort of in the middle here. So let's draw one at, on the left side. So starting at the top, we'll come around and back up to the top again. You can see that it's just touching that line there. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So make sure it touches the same edge. And let's do a little highlight. So up on the top left corner, we'll draw a little circle. And on the right side, we'll draw another circle. Now on the insides here, we're going to color those all in black. So let's go ahead and color that in black. And now that we have that in, let's draw the face. Okay, so we're getting to the nose and the muzzle area. So we're going to start with a big oval. So starting just in between the eyes, we're not going to touch the eyes on the side, but we'll come down to about here. So starting up here, Come around to the bottom. Now we'll go to the right side at the top and do the same thing. So going around and carefully drawing this nice little oval. Let's go back to, up to the top. Right in the middle here, I'm going to draw a straight line coming down. Just a short little line. And then from here, I'm going to curve up towards the right side. And on the left, I'll do the same thing. And we'll go ahead and color this in black. You see that drawing that, surf that line in the middle really helps sort of figure out the left and right side. Okay, from here, I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to come down about halfway between the bottom of the nose and the chin. Then from here, I'm going to draw a curve. So starting on the left, I'm going to curve up to the right. And then on the ends here, I'm just going to draw a little curve, like a little bracket, just a little smile line. And then on the bottom, let's, let's open up the mouth. So we're going to come in a bit on the left and draw a curve going down and then back up to the right. And then let's put a little tongue in here. So we're going to start on the left side here and draw a curve going to the right. Let's go ahead and color all this in black on the top side. Now from here, let's go all the way up to the top of the head. The head is pretty much round. It's almost like a little squashed oval. But we're going to go up to about here. So we're going to space, keep, leave a little bit of space up above the eyes. And just on the left side, I'm going to curve towards the right. You can see that I'm sort of stopping just on the same side as the eyes here. From this point, I'm going to take this point and curve out for one of the ears on the left, and on the right side, I'll do that same curve. Now let's bring this back in towards the eyes. So from here, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction, coming down, and on the right, I'll do the same thing as well. Now, we're going to have to draw the bottom of the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at this point and we're going to bring it all the way down almost to the bottom of this chin, but we're going to leave a little bit of gap here. Okay, so I'll take this point, I'm going to come around, and as I get just under the, the muzzle, I'm going to stop right there. Let's go on the right side and do the exact same thing. So we're going to come around, and we're going to stop right about there. Let's draw a little bit of pattern detail on this tiger's face. So here on the left side, so we got a little space in the middle. We're going to draw these little V's. So I'm going to draw a V like this on the left side, and I'll draw a V on the right side. You can go ahead and color this in black now, or you can do this afterwards. But I'm going to actually do this now so we can see what it looks like. All right, so we got those two lines there. Now let's get on the sides of the face. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to draw a V turned this way. So from here, I'm going to aim towards the eye, and then we're going to do one here. We're going to aim towards the center of the eye with a V. Like that. Let's go to the right side. So I'm going to aim towards that eye on the right. I'm going to try to get another one down here, aim towards that eye. And we're going to color those in black.
Okay, so there's the head. Actually, let's draw a little bit of pattern detail or inside detail on the ears. So up here, I'm going to come down a little bit. I'm going to curve a line like that. Let's go up to the top here, leaving a little bit of a gap, and curve down like so. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Okay, now let's get into the body. I'm going to have the body sort of positioned facing that way. So right here, where this line ends, I'm going to move over to the left a little bit so we can have a little bit of an overlap. I'm going to curve this down right about there. Let's draw in some paws. So for some simple paws, I'm going to come down a little bit from this point and just draw a curve, like a, almost like a half circle like that. And then I'm going to close the bottom with a straight line. Now at the top, I'm going to come down with a straight line twice. Okay, so we've got some paws in between. And from here, from this corner, I'm going to go straight up in an angle in towards the body here. I'm going to stop right about here so I can draw in the belly. So up here, I'm going to draw in a curve. So here, it's curved and just kind of intersect that line. So I'm going to just draw and finish that up there. Let's draw that exact same arm on this side. So here, I'm going to curve down. And you can see that I stopped at the same height as on the left. Let's draw that curve again for the paw. So a half circle, draw a line across, and then we'll draw two lines down for the paws. And from this corner, I'm just going to come up a little bit and just stop right about there. Let's get into the body. So here, I'm going to have the back coming out to the, to the back of the tiger. So here I'm going to come up, and then I'm going to come down, all the way down, until I get to that same line as that bottom of the paw. So now what I want to do is draw a straight line across, and I'm going to draw the half circle on the top, and I'll draw two lines coming down. Now from here, I'm going to curve up, just around the same height as that line there. And then here, I want to imagine this line coming behind that arm, and then continuing on in between those legs there. Let's draw in a tail, so I'm going to draw a little wiggly tail. So from here, I'm going to curve up, almost like an S shape, to the top of the tail. I'm going to round up the tip of the tail like this and come all the way back and get a little bit thinner as I come all the way back here. Okay, now let's draw in some stripes. So up here on the neck, I'm going to curve a line. Then from this point, I'm going to curve it back and get it wider as I go out. And we'll color that in black. Let's draw a few more. So here, I'm going to curve down and then back up. We'll color that in black. And we'll draw one more. So we're running more here, going up. We'll color that in black. And you can see that these lines on the top of the back are curved this way. Now for the front of the paws, I'm just going to draw a straight V, going sideways, and color that in black. Do one more down by close to the paw. And we'll color that in black. Now let's draw a couple more back here. So. Let's draw one at the front of the paw on this side and color that in black. And we'll draw one more down here, color that in black. And then for the hind leg, we're going to do it on the opposite side, so on the back here. So going in the opposite direction, so it's facing that way. Color that in black. And one last time on the leg, back here. Color that in. Now for the tip of tail, we just want a little bit of detail here. So we're going to go up to the top here and go up, down, up, and then tuck that in on that line there. We're going to go ahead and color this whole tip in black. Now for the rest of this tail here, I'm going to draw a V going that way, color that in black. And we can alternate the direction that they're facing. So from here, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. And do a couple more maybe. Do one from here going this way. So you can see the point is on the left, on the right side here, on the left here, and on the right here. So we're alternating where they're pointing. We got that in there. So there it is. There's a cute tiger cub. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now's a great time to go and give it some color. We'll see you back here again soon. Thanks for watching.